Have you ever driven through heavy fog? It can be a scary experience. If you try to use your high beams, all you can see is brighter fog. Using your low beams, you can see more, but you still have a limited view. When you're on the road, you need to be able to see where you're going. to live my life closer to thee. Have you ever felt like this? You can only see or plan for the next week or so, but past that, you have no clue what's coming up? It can be scary. When we live our lives with the frightening anticipation that at any time we could be hit by a crisis, we're not prepared for, it's hard to move forward. Now, here's a strange question. Can your feet see? Psalm 119, verse 105 says to our God, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The reformer of the church, Martin Luther, noted that the light described in this verse doesn't seem to be for our seeing, it's for the path. He makes the case that the word guides the feet and the heart, and faith does not require understanding. So what does this mean for our lives of faith? Well, let's begin with the fact that we live lives of faith and not sight. As hard as it is for us planners, we can't always see what's on the horizon, but that doesn't mean that we're directionless. No, God's word does lead us. We're guided by God's word to do good works, to confess our sins, to worship our Savior. This also doesn't mean that we don't get to use our God-given gifts and abilities to reason and to think. But thank God, we didn't need to understand every word of theology ever written in order to be saved. The gift of faith is just that, a gift. Now that we walk by faith and not by sight, let us evermore trust in our God, who guides us and gives us the light we need. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending the light of the world for me. Some days I have a hard time trusting you to guide me. Help me to trust your word to give me the direction I need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. If you don't have one, consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.